Amy with Flower Moxie and I want to talk about putting your flowers in the refrigerator, which is something that I only recommend as a last resort. So today is Monday and I have a wedding on Wednesday and I picked up my flowers this morning and my anemones are already very open. So I get to decide, do I want to leave them out or do I want to put them in the refrigerator or the cooler? So typically I don't recommend putting your flowers in your refrigerator. For several reasons. One, um, if, your refrigerator, if your fridge runs too cold, it can freeze the flowers. Um, or you might have like a lot of vegetables and fruit, which releases a gas. But if it's a situation where you get your anemones in, or like a strancha, the cianthus, or one of those more accent flowers that are a bit more delicate, or maybe let's say you got some peonies and they're already opening and blowing out really quickly and you want to stop that, then you can put them in the refrigerator. So this is how you'll do it. You want to turn your refrigerator to the warmest setting. So a lot of them have the knobs or the buttons that you can turn up the, turn up the heat or make it not as cold. You want to do that just because you want to make sure that it's not running too cold. Um, secondly, you want to make sure that your flowers aren't up against any kind of wall or touching anything else that could maybe brown the petals. Lastly, you want to put all of your fruits and veggies in Ziploc bags and seal them up. So as you can see, it's kind of a complicated process if you're going to put it in the fridge, but I'm gonna do that with these guys. And one thing to note, these came in exceptionally long for um, anemones, and I'm gonna put this in the bridal bouquet. I'm not going to need all this length, so I'm gonna cut these down a little bit so it will fit better in the cooler. So if you find that you have something that's exceptionally long that isn't quite fitting, and if you're gonna put it in a bouquet, you could probably cut it down because I like things to be about two hands for my bouquet handles. So if you have any questions, then email us, and thank you so much for joining us.